Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information. MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. Inside. Japanese racer Haruki Noguchi has passed away after suffering a serious head injury from an accident at the ARRC Indonesia round at the Mandalika circuit. Noguchi, 22, had a serious accident in race 2 ASB 1000, Asia Superbike 1000, in the first ARRC, Asian Road Racing Championship, event at the Pertamina Mandalika International Circuit, Lombok, Sunday, August 13. Noguchi immediately received medical treatment at the Circuit Medical Center before being transferred to a local hospital and undergoing intensive care at the West Nusa Tenggara General Hospital. However, his life could not be saved. He was declared dead from his injuries on Wednesday, 16th afternoon. The 17th of August, 2023, out of respect for Hiroki Noguchi's family and team who have asked for some private time to mourn their loss, wrote FIM Asia in its official statement. It is with great sadness that we report the death of Hiroki Noguchi after three days of intensive care at the West Nusa Tenggara General Hospital. In round four of the 2023, FIM Asia Road Championship which was held at the Pertamina Mandalika International Circuit, Haruki suffered a critical injury following an incident at Turn 10, Lap 4 of the 1000 cubic centimeters Asia Superbike Racing category. The 22-year-old racer immediately received medical attention at the circuit's medical center before being transferred to a local hospital. Despite the best efforts of the medical staff, Haruki sadly died of his injuries on August 16, 2023, at 1740. The president of FIM Asia and its board of directors, Two Wheels Motor Racing, TWMR, and the FIM Asia Road Racing family extend their sincerest condolences to Haruki Noguchi's family, friends, and loved ones. On the other hand, Marc Marquez has claimed that KTM will become MotoGP's top manufacturer sooner than people may realize. And remarkably, he made this eye-opening statement while sat alongside KTM Motorsport director Pitt Byrer. The Repsol Honda star rider has been linked with a move to KTM, who he shares Red Bull with as an influential sponsor. When KTM started they were last on the grid, Marquez said on a service TV show, sat next to Byrer. Little by little, they have been getting closer. Now they are the second best constructor in the championship, but very soon, more than people might think, they will be first. In competition, the key is ambition. If you have ambition you will get there. KTM is making very good additions at the level of engineers and also pilots. This TV show was broadcast ahead of this weekend's Austrian MotoGP, the home race for KTM who are enjoying a productive year. Their ambition extends to increasing their four bikes on the grid. They admit to trying to recruit Marquez but they will have to wait until 2025, when his Honda contract expires. It's a compliment to us to be associated with Mark and to hear him say words like the ones he just said, Byrer said. He's the most successful rider we have with 59 wins. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that Mark will not be in our lineup next year because he has a contract. We discussed it and he gave us a clear answer and that's it. That doesn't change the fact that we wish him all the luck in the world to get back to the top positions as soon as possible. These words are sure to fan the flames of rumors around Marquez's future. This weekend in Austria he is just hoping to complete a Grand Prix for the first time in 2023. Was, uh, eight years old. Uh, we... I thought that in Germany I could fight again for a place on the podium, he said. I arrived at the Grand Prix and I had a lot of problems with the bike, I couldn't find the rhythm. I crashed often during the three days. In the warm-up I broke my knees, ribs, ankle and a finger. I was mentally destroyed. During the holiday break I had to say to myself, I have to accept that it's not possible at the moment. We have to improve the bike, I have to improve myself, the team too. We want to come back and fight for victory again. It's very difficult to accept that.
I really decided not to take any risks at Silverstone, my mentality has changed a bit. I was injured in Portugal, Germany and Holland this year, I also injured my groin. I need a different style if I want to continue competing for a few more years. Now we have to find a base again at Honda on which we can develop further. On the other hand, after four points finishes in six races, Emilia Bastianini ended the British MotoGP scoreless as he remains in search of his best form heading into this weekend's Austrian round at the Red Bull Ring. Back to full fitness for the first time since the opening round at Portimo, Bastianini battled past teammate and current MotoGP champion Francesco Bagnaia during the sprint. However, the overtake was only good enough for P13 as Bagnaia suffered one of his worst races of the season. Bastianini, who looked set to score points in the Grand Prix, crashed out two laps after contact with Marc Marquez, which also resulted in the Honda rider failing to finish. The last Grand Prix at Silverstone didn't go as we hoped, but it was my first real weekend where I could work at 100% without physical issues," said Bastianini ahead of the Austrian round. We gathered important data that we will need to make further progress. At the moment, I still haven't been able to find the right feeling with my Desmosetis IGP, therefore, the main goal now is to regain the feeling that will allow me to be competitive. Bagnaia thrilled to be back at Red Bull Ring. After winning the Austrian Grand Prix from Fabio Quartararo in 2022, and coming very close to winning last time out at Silverstone, Bagnaia again starts the weekend as a clear favorite for victory. Bagnaia has seen his advantage in the championship improve substantially following Marco Bezzecchi's mistake, but the Italian is expecting the fight for victory in Austria to include many riders. Bagnaia added, I am thrilled to be back racing in Austria, a track I like a lot and on which I took a nice win last year. It is historically a track favorable to the characteristics of our bike, but there will likely be many riders who can fight for a good result here this year. Now, our goal is to be consistent and try to do our best always. I am confident and looking forward to the weekend. <laughs>